Two years ago, Leah Strickland, a student at Herbert Hoover High School, died in a car crash after a soccer game. WSAZ's Addie Smith spoke with Leah's parents about how they keep her legacy alive. It's one of the better days I have of the year having this event. The day after losing their daughter in a car accident, Emily and Michael Strickland started saving for the Leah Strickland Memorial Scholarship, and it grew from there. Then they created Leah's Legacy, which is a 5K runner walk to honor and remember their daughter. Well, we wanted to do something, and everybody can run or walk, or, and, and so we figured this would be. But if they can't, they are more than welcome to just come and hang out and enjoy the music. Leah's Legacy was created to be more than just a 5K. It was created to be a place where everyone of all ages can come and hang out and celebrate Leah's life. The name of it is Leah's Legacy. It doesn't say 5K run. I mean, it's Leah's Legacy. So I, I would rather be remembered for a festival that has a run. You know, so that's a celebration of life. Nothing is ever going to bring her back or take this tragedy away. But it, if we can do something good. One life taken too soon, but a legacy that will live on. Addie Smith, WSAZ. Kanawha County. So online registration closes at 5 p.m. Thursday evening and in-person registration will be Saturday 5 until 8 and short story in Sunday 3 until 430 at the Slack Plaza. Leah's legacy will take place September 22nd from 5 p.m. and at or starting at 5 p.m. at Slack Plaza in Charleston. And by the way, all the proceeds will go to the Leah Strickland Memorial Scholarship.